Hey, you guys, welcome back. You jerks. Welcome back to another video. My name is Troy. I am a food truck owner. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how I got the money to start my food truck. So if you guys go back on my channel, you will see that two years ago, I used to live in my car and it was hard for me. It was rough, you guys, but I made that crap serve me and I, and I, and I flipped it and I made it work, you guys. So basically that was a blessing in disguise. So me not being able to get approved for housing, what I somehow realized was is, hold on, I don't got to spend a thousand dollars a month for rent. This is the first time in my life I don't have to do that. Hmm. Oh, okay. So guess what? I started working my butt off and saving my money and living in my car and making it work. So I did that for almost two years. It was off and on, of course. I would go spend some time with my sister and kind of like crash at her house for a few months, a few weeks. And um, that was if it got really cold or it got really hard. But for the most part, I lived in my car and I saved a lot of money, you guys. And on top of that, I door dashed. This is what I did to make money. I was a door dasher full time. And I made sure I make it, I made at least a thousand dollars a week, if not more. And I worked my butt off you guys. And I was exhausted because I was pushing myself. But I, I mean, I was in the car all day anyway. I might as well just work, right? Like, so <laughs> I made it work, you guys. I saved a lot of money that way. Also, I have a credit card that I use from time to time. So let's just say I spent all my money on my food truck and now I'm tapped out. And then how am I gonna open? I don't have any money to open. I use my credit card to do that. So I do have a credit card that I use as well. So that was what I did, you guys. Um, it wasn't easy living in my car and I hated it the whole time, but I also knew where it was taking me. So I, I took it as a blessing. And in my videos, I was a little positive more than I wanted to be sometimes, just trying to manifest because I knew it wasn't permanently. Yeah, I knew it wasn't permanent. So I was trying to be positive and trying to, but there were some days I cried and some days I beat myself up for getting there. But for the most part, you guys, I made it work. So for me, save your money. Uh, you can also get a loan. You can, um, there's different ways to do it, you guys. I just don't have good credit for that. So I door dashed full time. I saved all my money because I was living in my car. And that's how I started a food truck, you guys. And I had a credit card as a backup plan that helps me when I need it. And that was how I got started. I still do those things, you guys. I still DoorDash. That's another thing I didn't tell you guys in any of these videos. So if I don't feel like working my food truck, I DoorDash still. It's an easy way to make money. I'm Especially if I'm just driving through town, why not turn the app on and go to Walmart and go over here and then DoorDash on the way home. Like it's no big deal. I'm making extra 20, $30. So I still do that. I, I appreciate those apps. They help me. Um, hopefully this helps somebody. You know, you guys, you don't have to do the, the loan route. That's not for everybody getting a loan. I don't think I would have wanted a loan. Now that I look at it, if I would have tried to get a loan, it would have stressed me out because it's like, oh, I got to pay this plus this plus this. It would have been extra stress for me. I don't like that kind of stuff. Having to owe somebody. So that's what I did, you guys, is I door dashed full time. I lived in my car for about a year and some change. And I saved all my money. I saved all my coins, you guys. And I saved enough money to get back on track. I got my place eventually. And um, I got a food truck. But what you guys probably don't know is I started under a tent. So I started under a tent, you guys, at a festival. So that's another video. But we'll talk about that. So... You don't have to start with a food truck, you guys. You can start with a tent, a table, and some crock pots or some food warmers. That's how I started. Now, I knew I was getting a food truck like right around that same time. So I wasn't like, how long do I have to do this? But I see some people who do that. You can start with just a tent, you guys. You don't have to have a food truck. It sounds crazy, but at these festivals, the way it works is... is the person who's setting up the festival that's in charge of it, that is allowing you to be there, they get all the licenses and permits. So you don't have to have a lot of stuff from what I understand, but it that varies from each festival. Some festivals might ask for a whole bunch of paperwork, some don't, but 
Yeah, I started under a tent. I never showed that. But I'm showing it now. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys, make sure to like this video. Also, leave me a comment, please, because it's helpful with the YouTube algorithm. And if you know somebody who'd be interested in this topic, make sure you share it with them. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new here. I make these videos because I want to help people. There's not a lot of videos like this on YouTube in general about food trucks. When I was trying to start my food truck, I had to buy a course. It cost a whole bunch of money. I also had to go work on a food truck just to get like familiar, even though now looking back, I didn't need to do that. I just thought I had to because I never worked in one before. And I'm trying to help you guys not go through that. I'm trying to help you guys just hit the ground and start running. So if you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe. I appreciate you guys for watching. Have a good one.